Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn coins. Let's start with this. In a coin, two events are possible, which are head and tail. And in, in an unbiased coin, both of them are equally likely. So the probability of getting head is one by two and tail is also one by two. That is about one coin. How about two coins? If you have two coins, you are tossing coin one and coin two. In coin one, two events are possible, head and tail. Again, coin two, two events are possible, head or tail. So total, four events are possible. Similarly, if n coins are there, two into two into two into two n times, which means total two power n events are possible. So that becomes the formula. If n coins are there, total number of outputs will be two power n. Similarly, if uh, n dice is there, total number of events will be six power n because in one die, six events are possible. If there are two coins, we know two power two, total four events are possible, which are head head, head tail, tail tail, and tail head. And all of them are equally likely. So all of them will be one by four, one by four, one by four. Let's say a question is probability of getting two heads. Now out of this four, which event has two heads? You can see this is the one. So the favorable event is this one. And total events, as you know, are four. So one by four, favorable by total. One by four is, if the question is probability of getting one hit, now out of these four, which one is having one hit? Head tail, tail head. In these two events, there is just one head. So two events are favorable and total events are four. So answer is two by four. If the question is at least one hit, at least one head means it can be one head or two heads. One head, these two are the events, and two heads, this is the event. So total three events are favorable. So answer will be three by total, three by four. If the question is probability of getting maximum one head, now maximum one head means one head or zero head. Now one head are these two events, and zero head. This is the event. So again, total three events are favorable. Answer will be three by four. How about similar outcome? Out of four, in which events the outcomes are similar? This and this, head, head, tail, tail. So answer will be two by total. That is two by four. Similarly, different outcomes, tail, head, and head, tail. Two events are favorable. Answer is going to be two by four. So these are the possible questions in two. What if the question is about five coins? Five coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting three heads? Now, three heads is okay, but on which three coin? That's the problem. Any three coin, isn't it? So, because it is any three coin, first I need to select which three coin. So let me select randomly one, two, three. These three coins. On these three coins, which are selected, only head is coming. So only head, only one event, only one event, only one event. 1 into 1 into 1, 1 power 3. And remaining two places, head is not coming. Only tail is coming. So only one event, only one event, 1 power 2. So this 1 Q is for three heads, and this 1 squared is for two tails. So 1 Q into 1 5 C3 divided by 2 power 5, which is 10 by 32 or 5 by 6. Similarly, if the question is, five coins are tossed, find the probability of getting at least three heads, which means, it can be three heads or four heads or five heads, five C3. Now we can write one power three here and one power two here because, and in three places only head is coming, in two places only tail is coming. But because after calculation, this one power three and one power two is going to be one only, there's no need to write this. You can directly write five C3 for three heads, five C3, for four hits, four hits, five C4, and for five hits, five C5. Directly you can write this, divide by two power five. So five C3 is 10, and five C4 is five, and five C5 is one. So this is going to be 16 by 32, or one by two. Let's move on. Five points are tossed, find the probability of getting no hits. So out of five, zero hits, divide by two power five. This is going to be, 1 by 32. So that's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.